TNT game was popping. Oh, TNT game was popping. Hey, I want to welcome y'all back to the channel. And today, y'all know what it is. It's Throwback Thursday. And last video, last Throwback Thursday, it was something that was crazy that was going on, man. <laughs> ah. Y'all will come in in the comment section talking about Jerome 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't know who Jerome is, but uh, yeah, he need to stay away from this area right here because it was kind of creeping me out. But today's video is going to be something way back. Man, back when I had my Challenger, man. I'm going to show y'all how to change y'all cabin air filter, specifically in a Challenger. Uh, it's pretty much the same in every other car. It's in the glove box. Wrong. So I hope y'all guys enjoy it. Hey, this weekend, I'm going to drop a C10 video. I know y'all are looking forward to that. You know, most of y'all are subscribed for the C10. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you got the notification bell and make sure you subscribe and like the video. Hey, if you like my stuff, make sure you subscribe. Uh, what did you say? You subscribe. Sus 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 uh, sus make sure you share it too, man, because it helps circulate my videos, help me get back up there where I was before. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. Hopefully y'all enjoy the video. All right. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Tony B with And guys, I got a question for you. Have you ever turned on your AC or your heat and it smells like a oh. Ugh. Smells like mold or, or something funky man or a must or whatever you say, whatever you call it. Um, I had this problem in the hope. So, you know, what I did, I looked up if the car had a cabin air filter and it did. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to change it. Uh, I think it's uh, be the same for the, the Charger guys and Challenger guys. I think 2011 and up. But I'll let you know. I'll put it in, in the description. But uh, I got a short video for you to see how to change the cabin air filter in your car. And it's pretty simple, man. And, and these Dodgers, it's, it's nothing to it. So let's get it. Now, the first thing you need to do, you need to pop your hood. All right, this is the air filter I got. Um, it's the C26176. I got it in advance. It was a uh, 1289. It wasn't too bad. Uh, I wanted to get the one from Walmart, a Fram, um, one with the Arm & Hammer uh, baking soda in it, you know, but... Hey, I, they didn't have it in stock. This is the only one I had. I could have went and got the uh, OEM one from uh, the dealer, but I wanted to, to go ahead and get it done. I didn't want to wait because my dealership didn't have it either. That's the uh, cons of living in a small city. I mean, a city that doesn't carry um, or have big stores and everything like that. But this will do the trick, I guess. We'll see what happens. It's, uh, once again, C26176. And this fits the, uh, I think, the Challengers and the Chargers. Uh, I don't know about the Magnums. I think it's a little different because they stopped making them. But I got that. You got that breathe easy there, boy. I got that breathe easy. Hopefully this breathe easy, breathe easy helps me breathe a little bit better in the, in the hope. So it get rid of that musty smell. But hey, let's go ahead and put it in. The cabin air filter in this car is located on the passenger side on the back end. Right there. All you have to do is take that... Uh, protective plate off and then you pull the air filter out the cabin air filter just press in these two tabs right here and it just comes up you pull it out all right this would look like without the cover as you can see the air filters down in here as I shine my light up here all you have to do is uh, take off this uh, lid right here as I'm shining a light on it you what you do is pull it up and uh, you pull the air filter out Pretty simple. It's not too much of a hard repair. See, it just comes out. Just pop them up. And what you do is you just pretty much pull the air filter out. What it, what it is is it has a couple. Let's see. Alright. There we go. That's all it takes. Ooh. 
That thing looks kind of dirty. It doesn't look too bad, but, well, yeah, yeah, it does. All right, what I always like to do when I'm replacing parts, I like to compare and contrast with the new and the old. And, uh, you know, this this filter right here, here's the OEM one. And it says, you know, it's fa this needs to face the rear of the car, which was at towards the bottom. Uh, if you guys want to get the OEM version, here are the numbers. So you can check that out. Pause the video and check it out. Or, you know, your dealership will know uh, what you need. But uh, what I like to do is get the new one. And compare it. When you compare it, it looks exactly the same. So let's put it back in. Before you install the cabin air filter, you look down in here and inspect and see if you have any leaves, any debris uh, in here, which I got one right there, I gotta get out of here. But uh, make sure there's no debris in here uh, to obstruct any of the airflow. But uh, mine looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna get that leaf out and put in the air filter. Just install it the reverse of the removal. And just clip the top back on. And on that filter, it has some arrows pointing uh, a certain a certain way. And uh, what it says in the instructions to point it towards the ground, which it was talking about um, a Chrysler Pro, um, 300 or a Sebring or whatever. But this is a Dodge. So what I did was I put the arrows towards the cabin. Well, where the airflow would most likely go. Uh, I believe that's the way it needs to go. But uh, if anybody knows any different, they can put it in the comments. But I believe that's where it needs to go because you have airflow going to the cabin. Now just install the protective cover. What you had a little tabs. Push in. Now that we're done under the hood, just close the hood. All right guys, now that we've replaced that cabin air filter, what I like to do is uh, crank the car up. Uh, put the air condition on. Cut it on. Put it on recirculate. And I, I got some of this, uh, <laughs> I don't know how you say it, Ozium, Ozium. Yeah, right, right here, man. <laughs> I don't know how you say it, but uh, this is some pretty good stuff. It doesn't, you know, just smell real good, but what it does, it uh, it kills and uh, reduce airborne uh, bacteria. You know, you can get it out of Riley's. I know they have it for sure. Uh, what I like to do is I take the top off. And uh, at the floorboards at the bottom, I would spray two sprays. Not on my foot. But uh, I'll put it down here at the bottom, you know, so it, I guess it, it'll recirculate through the system. And uh, what it does, it help it smell a little better in here too and uh, kill some of the bacteria. All right, guys, that's all it takes to change the air cabin filter in this Challenger. And I think you can do it in the Chargers the same way. But uh, if you like that video, like this video, hit that like button for your boy. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, just hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. It's join the, just join the page. You know, you can see different uh, videos I post, different pictures I post and uh, just support your boy. But I appreciate you watching the video. See ya. You want my advice? 
Don't play yourself. And subscribe, fool. Psych.